Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning I'll be talking about the US and what I heard spiritually. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that's happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, before I continue, I'd like to do a short prayer with you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you as always, my God, that you have granted another day unto me, unto us, O God. Lord Jesus, I do not take it for granted that you have granted another day, Father. And so, Lord, I lift your name on high. I glorify you and I magnify your name this morning, O God. Lord, as I'm about to speak, oh God, I pray, God, that you will sit with me. I pray, Father, that you will use me as a vessel, oh God, that your words will come forth, oh God. I pray, Father, your blessings upon your children. Lord Jesus, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, for peace in this world that we are living in. Even among the chaos, oh God, I pray your peace will be upon your people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Father, I pray for every soul that will receive you this morning. I pray, God, that you will hasten their footsteps, oh God, as they receive you right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And I tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Right, brethren. Also, before I continue, I would like to say for anyone who's seen my video for the first time, I'd like to explain to you that everything happens spiritually before it does here on earth or in the physical realm. And so what I'm trying to say is nothing can happen here on earth unless it's first happened spiritually. And so this is how the Lord has allowed me to hear what is to come before it does. Okay, right. This morning I was planning to speak about Madeline McCann, the little girl that went missing many years ago. It was in 2017, seven I should say, 2007 when she went missing. And the Lord spoken to me about, you know, what took place in June, June 2021, last year. He's spoken to me about it. But, you know, I've been putting off speaking about it. I've been feeling dubious about speaking about this because, especially because I heard about paparazzi. I kept hearing about paparazzi. And I know it's those photographers who you know, seem to harass people and chase after you and take your photos and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, I want an easy, quiet life. You know, I don't want hassle from, you know, people coming, asking questions and stuff like that. And so I've been putting off speaking about this. This has been in the media for many years. It's been a huge coverage of what happened you know, trying to find out what happened to Madeline McCann. And so, you know, as I've said, the Lord has spoken to me about it. And a few days ago, I decided, I've decided that I will speak about this. Now is the time that I feel ready to speak about it. 
And so I prayed because I know this is one of those prophecies that you cannot just speak about without, you know, really finding out from the Lord. And so I asked the Lord, you know, whether I should speak about it or not. But I didn't have a reply. He didn't speak to me or I didn't have a vision or a dream or nothing at all. And this was two days before. And so I thought, you know, the Lord hasn't told me not to speak about it. And so I presume that it's okay to go ahead and to speak about it now. Though I've, I've written out everything carefully, you know, just the things that I wanted to speak about. Obviously, I would not reveal everything. I just couldn't reveal everything. And so I've re um, written out what I wanted to speak about carefully and thought um, I can go ahead to do so. But this morning, I wrote it out last night, what I wanted to speak. I'm written out everything about it. And this morning, I've had three dreams telling me not to speak about it. The Lord's been warning me in three dreams not to speak about it. And so I've had to find something else to speak about. And to be honest, I've been so busy. I did not prepare anything, any other videos before. I've used up all the backup videos that I've had. And so I'm thinking, what should I, I speak about today? And so I've decided that I will speak about the US. But originally I have prepared, you know, what I wanted to speak about because as I've said, I've been so busy and I just never had time to get things ready. I'm thinking if I miss a day, everyone's going to be wondering, where is Denise? What's happened to her? And so brethren, here I am, you know, here to speak about what the Lord spoken to me spiritually. Right. Okay. On the 3rd of August, on the 3rd of August, um, 22, the Lord spoken to me about, you know, fighter jets. And I saw spiritually U.S. fighter jets. Um, the last time I spoke about hearing fighter jets um, regarding, um, it was Russia, Russian fighter jets. I saw it spiritually and heard about that. And so we saw the war that is taking place with Russia and Ukraine. And so, brethren, I'm hearing about fighter jet. This was the 3rd of August, 22. I've heard about the U.S. fighter jet. I've also heard about um, nuclear weapons. I've heard about nuclear weapon. This was the 9th of January, 22, when I've heard about nuclear weapons. And so we know Putin's got all of this ready to attack, brethren, and so let us pray. I've also heard, you know, people in the spiritual realm, the public calling him the Antichrist and so forth. But um, brethren, as I've said, let us pray that God will have mercy and that he will help us. Because if Putin should begin to use nuclear weapons, you know, God help us. So let us pray that it will not come to this that God will intervene because the ways of man, you know, is just not the way of God. God would not deal with things in such a way. Sometimes it amazes me how, you know, the world is fighting against Putin. I don't know a lot to talk about him, but ever since I've heard about Russia, it's never been, you know, anything good about Putin. And when you look, the world, a lot of countries, especially Europe, relies on Russia heavily, so heavily, you know, for resources. And so I am puzzled. I'm puzzled to, you know, realize that someone who rely or countries who rely upon another country so much could be you know, warring and sanctioning and all this stuff. And they've clearly seen that these sanctions, they haven't worked. And so it would, you know, tell them that let us try something different. Let us try something different. 
you know, I'm, I'm amazed at how the world works, how for God things are so simple. But for us, we just cannot see, you know, the dangers or see what's ahead, the difficulties that we will face. And so many of Russia, many of Europe and other countries are suffering now or paying the consequence for relying so much on Russia without making other provisions. And now they're warring, they're making war against them. You know, when I read the scripture in, in 2 Kings, 2 Kings 6, it spoke about Israel, the king of Israel, how Syria was the, the Syrians were their enemies and wanted to make war with them. And the prophet Elisha, you know, told the king of Israel when, you know, they had their enemies in their midst to destroy their enemies. And the king of Israel asked, should we destroy our enemies, which they could have. But Elijah, the prophet said to them, no, he said, put on a feast for them. He said, put on a feast for them. And when he fed them, you know, they became their friends. You know, they were no longer their enemies. And so brethren, sometimes we have to use a different strategy. They've tried to sanction Putin but it hasn't worked. And, you know, we are suffering. Other people are suffering because of decisions that governments all around the world, they have made. And I, I've even spoken to the Lord and I said, Lord, you know, why doesn't Joe Biden focus on the American people? I've not written out this. I said, Lord, why doesn't Biden, Joe Biden, focus on the American people? Why is so taken with Russia, what is going on in Russia and other places? I'm saying, Lord, isn't there enough countries in Europe to be able to deal with this? Why is the U.S. getting involved? And the Lord was explaining to me, how the world works, how leaders think, you know, how they think, how they operate. And he was saying for them, he was saying for them, they just want to see some things happening or hear about something to be involved in it, to get involved in it, because their aim is saying is to make a name for themselves. Majority of the time, or most of them want to make a good name for them, to be remembered in history, to go down in history for something, preferably something good he revealed to me. And he said, sometimes, sometimes these things do not concern other countries, governments, but they will make it their problems, make it their business, because they want to be known for being the one who did something. When we look at, you know, Margaret Thatcher, many people spoke about her for being the iron lady. Some speak good of her and some speak bad of her, but she is known wherever you go, you will hear about her. She has made a name and she will be remembered forever. When you look at, you know, Boris Johnson, for example, he spoke about rolling out the vaccine and all that, you know, he's feeling proud of, achieving this and so their aim the Lord has revealed to me that is to make a name for themselves is to go down in history and it doesn't matter the cost you know at any cost they will go any length to make a name for themselves and so this is what you know when you look is happening everyone is jumping into fight and to war and to you know, there is no peace when the situation the Lord is saying could have been so different, could have been so different. You know, what many people are having or countries are having to, you know, switch off electricity and do all the, the money saving and all this stuff because of what is going on. 
And it could have been so simple. There could have been a solution to this problem. The Lord is saying for God, it is nothing. It is so simple, but for man, it is so difficult. I was watching this electrician. They were doing some work and they were so puzzled. They've tried everything, trying to figure out what to do. And I just thought the knowledge, the wisdom of men, you know, I'm thinking God knows the problem. God knows the issue, what is preventing them from, you know, solving this problem. And they've tried and they've tried. And I began to pray. I'm saying, Lord, show them, reveal to them what needs to be done, what, what the problem is. And God answered and they were able to find out what the problem was. You know, and so brethren, it is so simple. It is so easy for God to solve the problems. Only if we ask, only if we trust, only if we rely on him, he will reveal to us. And we don't have to suffer. We don't have to go through the things that we do. For God is ready to answer but we never ask and we do things in our own strength. These are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I want to encourage you this morning to do so before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord today before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world and to lose your soul? And so I want to encourage you this day to seek the Lord today. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord today, to turn to him before it's too late for you. What will it profit you to gain this whole world, as I've said, and to lose your soul? There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, but still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you this morning to turn away from the things of this world. Separate yourself from the things of this world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. We are a kingdom people. And so let us live a life that is pleasing, that is worthy and that is acceptable unto God, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God because of the life that we have lived here on this earth. Knowing that, you know, the word of the Lord tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, that they should not perish, but have everlasting life through Jesus Christ.